Okay, this is the last day of the float flying for me, I think. Pump up my floats here, see if there's any water in them. I've already done a bit of a lot of Not much water in there's not gonna be much in them, I don't think. I don't these floats aren't too bad. They're leaking. bit of water really adds up to extra weight, so you, it's really critical you want to get that out, especially it's not so bad these fall days, but you don't get those heavy, heavy days, heavy hot humid days, eh? Now I've already done a walk around, we've checked everything from the, the fuel, the three tanks in this plane here, one either wing and one right there, we've checked everything around, the key's in the seat so we know the mags are off, so anyway we've checked everything, the feeder tube's clear, everything seems to be intact there, all the way around. And checked all my cables. Still sound good. Water runner. Runner's all free. Elevator works good. Everything's good back here. And while I'm back here, I think what I'll do is I'll start back here. And I'll walk these boats up. Nothing. Nothing. There's a little bit of water in that float there. Every one of these pump motors is a tube that connects down to the bottom of the sump there. We've got them all glass and paste here. There. So. So where we left off there, we left off that right back here. We checked the wing strut, how the fittings seem to be on there. Wing strut there, jury struts are secure. Wing tips, everything's good. Right around, wing attached pins in there. And one thing you can't really see when you're on this, so you always check, make sure both your caps are in line with the airflow so you don't lose a cap, because those are the caps are good. Now I have a, an access door right here. I've already checked my rotary oil, my oil level. Everything is good in there. Spark plug wires are all on. Right down. Check there here. But right there, same tension. Props all looks good. And hold it on. Everything's secure. We're ready to go. I'm going to. There's the keys right there. We'll lock that back down there. Pretty well ready to go. So there's a key in the seat. Okay, so this will be the last flight of the of the season for floats. I'm hoping today or tomorrow we'll go for a little fly right now. Then I'll pull the floats off, put wheels back on, and then get ready for some skis because it's middle of October now and we'll probably be looking at some snow in the next two to three weeks, I would imagine. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go over fly. James wants to go over fly too, so We'll move all the stuff out of the way there. Give me the keys, James. Good idea. Put them on the dashboard. And uh, move that headsets out of the way. This kid is well trained. You got grassy feet. Don't get grass all over my seat or I'm gonna get a wet butt. Look at that talent. Way to go, James. Okay, this kid is talented. Okay, so I'm gonna crawl in here now. Get my seatbelt out of the way. The headsets. Just put them up on top there. Get them out of the way there. There, there you go, James, you're all set. And here, just hold that for a second, would you? Got in here, put my hat on, got James in here. Get our belts on, let's turn that on. Couple shots of prime there, ready? Okay, everybody's clear out there, clear. Okay. Now I have uh, two fuel tanks. 
tanks here. I'll turn them both on. That's off. That's off. I'm going to put both fuel tanks on for the wing tanks, and we'll turn my electric pump on right there. Let's play with all my fuel right there. So we're going to go warm it up, and we'll go over the fly. temperature here and we'll be all ready to roll. Okay, let's have a ready to roll here. Our temperature's good, we're gonna roll up, everything's good. I'm gonna show you. Now, down here, I don't, there's a flap handle, right? There's a flap handle, a flap handle right there. I'm not gonna use flaps until I get roll a little bit. I get a better rotation that way. My gear is down the lot. Okay, so, let's just hold it with the oven for about probably 10 seconds, ready?
Said, uh, James, did you have a good flight? Yep. That was it. You had the final flight with floats on this year. What do you think? Was it fun? Yeah. Did you do some good filming there? Mm. I mean, are you I being a little shy, James? I don't know. I'm not shy. Do you think I'm shy? I'm shy. I'm very shy. Anyway, that was it. We're going to get some wheels on soon and we're going to have some real fun <laughs> when the mud comes this week. So we just got back for a little morning flight there. It looked pretty good. We had a good time there. James is going to get out. James, you ready to come on now? Come on out. Do you like flying, James? Okay, you going to help take floats off today? Sure. What do you need? What kind of tools do you need? We'll go find them. Let's go on. We'll go on the side and see what we can find in here. But that's what we're going to put on right there. Those big wheels right there. These ones are getting all cracked. So we're going to have to maybe put some new ones on. We'll wait till they blow. Anyway, we're back in here. Let's get some tools out and get ready to go. We've got lots of tools to pick from, so.